Whitehorse in the Elijah Smith building. We are open from Monday to Friday, 8.30 till 4.30 p.m., and we're open during the lunch hour, so please feel free to bring your food here. Have you ever had any questions about Yukon's natural resources? If you have, this is the place to come. We can answer questions such as, what is the deepest underground mine that's ever operated in the Yukon? Or any kind of natural resources statistics or any other related questions you might have. Please feel free to come by and visit us. The Yukon Energy Mines and Resources Library has two computers available for you to use. You don't have to sign up for them, they're just available on a drop-in basis for you to use for your energy mines and natural resources related research. Using these computers, you can access our library catalog, uh, Skyline, which is how you can identify uh, relevant aerial photographs that you may want to look at, or any other types of online research. In addition, some of these resources are available to you at home via our webpage, which is www.emr.gov.yk.ca slash library. The EMR Library has a wide collection of Yukon related maps, from topographic maps for all of the Yukon plus our border territories such as Alaska, uh, NWT, and British Columbia. We also have geology maps, land use maps, and aeromagnetic maps. Please come by and visit to take a look at these maps. This is the EMR Library Air Photo Collection. We've got about 110,000 items in this collection. Uh, the oldest photo is about 1946 and they go up to the present time. Hi there! These are our most recent journals and we also have back issues of many of these journals. We have over 200 titles in the library. You can't take out the most recent journals, but you're welcome to come over with your lunch or your coffee and catch up on the literature in your field, as Grant is doing right now. Brett, what are you reading? I'm reading an article in the AAPG about um, porosity and permeability. That's fascinating! The library also gets lots of newspapers. We get two local newspapers and two national newspapers. We even have The Guardian from England. We also get a few of the local newspapers from the small towns in the Yukon. The Klondike Sun from Dawson, for example. And we get some subject-oriented newspapers like Petroleum News. Did you know the Energy Mines and Resources Library has the largest collection of scientific and technical books in the Yukon? We have over 40,000 books on a variety of topics including energy, mines, geology, agriculture, forestry, land use, environmental assessment, and Yukon history. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at what you find on our shelves. Clara, what have you found? Um, a book on opulites and the oceanic crust, which uh, is pertinent because there's certain deposits that are associated with opulites in Yukon, so yeah, very pertinent. Great. Mm -hmm. We also have mining assessment reports and reports from the Yukon Mineral Incentive Program. The paper copies are here on our shelves, but don't forget you can also access the reports electronically through our library catalog. Speaking of the library catalog, if you can't find what you need here, just let us know. We're happy to bring any book here for you through Interlibrary Loan. Just remember, the Energy Mines and Resources Library is here to help you find what you're looking for. Thanks for visiting the Energy Mines and Resources Library. Mm -hmm.